good day. In this video, we're going to look at trick, mainly in grade 10, but you can use it in grade 11 and 12 too. I'm going to work on how to solving right angle triangles. What we mean in this case is we're going to work out any angle or side of a right angle triangle if they give me two of the six pieces of information. So one angle and a side or two sides, and you've got to work out the angle. Not important, you'll see it from the examples. But when we want to solve right angle triangles, we are going to use the plan. I wrote it out here. The plan we're going to use, we're going to put a stripe down, leave a gap, put the equal, and then put the fraction stripe down again. On this first line, we're going to put the ratio down, either sine, cos, or tan. In this gap, we're going to put an angle. We'll have a normal equal, and then here is a fraction stripe we'll put out. Just type it again again. The plan will have a line, a gap, an equal, and then a fraction stripe. You'll see it as we go. Please learn this plan. It helps a lot if you catch it. You can solve any right angle triangle with this plan. You can also do nothing in trigonometry if you do not know these ratios. We learned this little rhyme, Sokatua. Or there's other rhymes that teachers use. I'm going to stick to the Sokatua one. That tells us that sine theta is O over H, cos is A over H, and tan is O over A. Some people also use sine as Y over R, cos as X over R, and tan as Y over X. We're going to stick to the Sokatua technique now. Right, here is our first problem. It says, yes, state your answer correct to two decimal places. So for the rest of this video, remember, we're going to go for two decimal places at the end. It says, in triangle LMN, LMN, find the size of MN, the length of that size. I said just now that there's six things in here. In this triangle, I'm going to number them quickly. There is three angles and three sides. So, like I said, there is going to be one, two, three sides, and one, Two, three angles. We're going to use two of them at a time. We're not going to use the 90 degrees, but he must be in these questions. So what we have here is we have an angle over here and a side over here. I'm going to use the plan to solve this problem. I wrote in here that this angle will be 15 degrees. You can use interior angles of a triangle if you want to work it out. I'm not going to use it, but some people like doing it and then working from this angle. Makes it more convenient if your brain picks it up. I don't like it. I'm going to take the 15 out. Like I said, to solve any right angle triangle, I like this one, I will use the plan. I put down a line, leave a gap, equal, and a fraction line. Right, so the first thing we do is we have to find the angle over here. So I'm going to stand here at M. You're never allowed to stand at the 90 degrees. So you take the 75 degrees, you write it in there. Then you look at the information that is given to you. I am standing at the 75, this guy is opposite me, and the one they asked me to work out is next door to me. So like I said, they originally said here, yeah, find the side MN, in other words, calculate that. So I put a question mark over there. Standing at the 75 degrees that I wrote in now, this guy they're asking me is adjacent to me, and the guy they gave me is opposite to me. Do not even look at the ML, otherwise you're confused. So only what was asked and what was given is important now. So I've got adjacent and opposite. That tells me which ratio I must use. Seeing that we are busy with the adjacent and the opposite, I look on in here who uses opposite and adjacent. I see it's tan and that I write over there. Now I look what tan's ratio is. It is O over A and I write it in there on the fraction stripe. I write it O over A. Then I kill it. And then I fill in. The opposite is 4,3 and the adjacent is MN. So now my equation will look like this. I wrote my angle, I wrote my tan, I wrote my ratio and I filled in everything. Now this becomes a normal equation with fractions. I've got to solve for MN so I'm going to times by the LCD first which is MN on both sides. Then we want to get the MN alone, so this is MN times tan, so I'm going to divide by tan 75 on both sides. Then I go into my calculator with the sum 1 I said. When we started with trigonometry, it will be two sums, this is sum 1. Just push this into the calculator as it stands and you'll get your final answer. MN equals 1,15 meters. They said to two decimal places, so we rounded off to two decimal places. Here is our next question. 
They say in triangle PQR, PQR, find the size of angle Q, which is this one over here. Again, we're going to write down the plan. So they're asking me to work out this red angle over here, the angle that's formed over here. We write down the plan, we put down the line, gap equals fraction. Here we put the angle down first. In this case, the angle will be Q. You'll just put a Q here with a gap on that. Then we have to decide on our ratio. By looking at, I'm standing here, I've got the adjacent 7,2, I've got the hypotenuse. I have to find out who uses adjacent and hypotenuse. In Sokotua, we can see that adjacent and hypotenuse will be cos. So I'll write the cos over here and adjacent over hypotenuse here. So now we have cos theta equals A over H. I take it out and I say the adjacent is 7,2. I write it in. My hypotenuse is 7,8. I write it in. Now I use some 2 on the calculator. You just do the following. You push shift cos to get the cos away. Shift cos with this ratio. And you'll have your answer of Q. So the answer is Q equals to 22,62 degrees. The last triangle, they say in triangle ABC, ABC, determine BC the length down there. It looks confusing if you start, but you should know that if you have an isosceles triangle, you're allowed to put a perpendicular line down here that will divide this triangle into two congruent triangles. The words are not important now, equal triangles. I redrew the triangle for us over here. There's A, B, C like it was. There's my 80 up there. We also know that in isosceles triangle, if these two sides are equal, then the angles over there and there will be equal. Angles opposite equal sides. We don't write that in trigonometry. So I drew my dotted line down here perpendicular and divided the triangle into two equal parts. Now I've got my 90 degrees over here, a 50 here, and if I do need a 40 over there, I've got my 5 centimeters here, but that guy will also be 5 centimeters. So now I choose either this triangle or this one, which one suits you, you use. I wrote that I decided to use in triangle ABD. ABD, I'm working in this triangle, which is a right angle triangle, and I'm going to use my plan. My plan again is my line, angle, equal, and then a fraction stripe. I'm going to stand here at the 50 degrees. What I want is I want the length of this side, but I'm only going to take half of it first. So I'm going to stand at this angle, put my 50 in there. Then I see I'm going to use my hypotenuse at my adjacent. So I go and look what ratio uses that. So I'm going to use cos 50 degrees equals A over H. I got it from there. Why did I use cos? Because I want my adjacent and I have my hypotenuse. So I put in the adjacent over hypotenuse. I put in the BD because I don't know what it is. And I put in my hypotenuse which is 5. Now this becomes an equation with fractions, so I will times by the LCD, which is 5. Then this equation is actually finished. I've got everything I want to work out on the left-hand side. There's the guy I'm looking for. So I push these numbers into the calculator with calculation type 1 on the calculator. Then you get the length of BD, which is that half and that is 3,21. I store this in my memory of my calculator not to lose my decimals. And then finally, we know that BC from there to there will be twice as long as the BD over here on the calculator. And I just work out the answer. 6,43 centimeters is the length of BC. Enjoy solving right angle triangles with the plan.